Hey guys, just wanted to show you how to do the first um, kind of what they call pull and turn or um, just stirring of your sourdough. So it, right now it looks like this. This is after I just mixed it up once. It's been a couple hours and I'm going to do this little pulling and turning motion where you just slide your, your spoon or your spatula underneath. I find that a silicone spatula works the best because it doesn't, the dough doesn't stick to it as badly. Um, but you can see already it's starting to look smoother and it has more elasticity and it's becoming that beautiful sourdough bread texture that we're looking for to be able to enjoy those nice air bubbles and all of the, the fun texture and taste of sourdough. And the more times you do this in the process with your dough, um, the more like fluff it's gonna have, the more bounce it's gonna have, you know, it's gonna rise a little higher and everything and that's gonna be fun. And also it's gonna develop a more sour and complicated taste or complex taste, I should say. So you can just, I hope you can just see what I'm doing here is just under and over and kind of push it down. And it's a little bit like kneading bread dough, but a little bit just more gentle and it's a, um, a stickier dough, so I don't usually use my hands to do it. You could if you really want to, but it really sticks to your fingers. So anyway, that's it. And of course you can add more flour to your dough if you want it to be more able to be handled with your hands. And I find that works well if I'm gonna make rolls or something like that with my sourdough. But this is what I do for my artisan loaf, is just keep it a little bit more moist and um, it turns out really nice. So. That's how it ends up looking after the first stir. And each time you stir, you just do exactly the same thing. And you can do it as many times as you want. I will probably just do it one more time tonight and then either bake it in the morning or I might not get to it until tomorrow afternoon to bake it. But um, I'll probably give it a stir. I'll do that one more time before putting it in the bread pan. If I get to it more times than that, I will. But you know, you can do it as many times as you like. I usually average probably four times of doing that little pull and turn type of thing. And it just takes a couple minutes and you can do it whenever there's no particular, like you have to come back in 45 minutes, nothing like that. Just keep it simple. All right. Have a great night.